Hey. Oh, hey, how you going? I'm good, sorry for interrupting. That's all right. We were hoping you could show us around. Uh, yeah, my name's Ben, and I'm an aircraft maintenance engineer. I'm just here to start my day at Qantas. Just gonna go over and grab a job card here on the wall and start my day and get some tools. And this has got everything I need to go through the job that's required of me. What does it mean to be an aircraft maintenance engineer? An aircraft maintenance engineer is a person who does the maintenance on aircraft, such as inspections, replacing components, um, removing and installing everything that's required and asked of us, also finding defects and making sure the aircraft serves all to go flying. What's this area down here? So here, this is the workshop or the shop floor where we pull the aircraft into each bay um, and we conduct the heavy maintenance on these ones, as shown. Um, which is anything from removing a few components to pulling the whole cabin apart and replacing a lot of stuff and inspecting. Whoa, what did you work on today? So today I worked on um, the adjustment and rigging of the flaps which are located on the aft of the wing and they're used uh, to slow the aircraft down on landing so we adjusted them as we um, interrupted that system throughout the heavy check to make sure that it's all good and operating fine again. Follow me through to the tool crew. What aspect of engineering do you specialise in? So I specialise in mechanical, um, which is all the mechanical components and systems on the aircraft. Um, there's also a variety of different other uh, trades, which are avionics. We've also got structures. Um, there's also quite a few others, such as painting composites and so forth. Hey mate, just one torch, thanks. No worries. What happens to a plane between touchdown and takeoff? So yeah, there's a lot that does happen. Uh, it all does vary required at the time, but it's uh, anywhere from a small check that's probably between a few hours, um, and eventually every few years they'll come into the hangar for a heavy check, which may last a couple of months and goes really into depth. Well, what are the final checks before takeoff? Uh, final checks are mostly functional checks of the systems on the aircraft and final inspections to make sure everything's operating correctly and as required for flight and all on time. How are you involved in this? So I conduct different roles and quite enjoy that it's very um, wide range of things we do. Um, so I we involved in either being up in the flight deck operating the controls of the aircraft and the systems or down doing the adjustments and checks on the floor. What did you study? So I studied a Cert 4 in Mechanical Engineering, which is a, an apprenticeship which is, consists of about nine months theory and three and a half years practical, um, which goes through the whole systems of the aircraft and everything that you've got to do on them to check. What hands-on experience did it include? Uh, hands-on experience is everything, so we get to touch all the systems, remove everything from engines and so forth, um, cabin equipment and stuff like that. Um, yeah, everything you could think of on a plane will pretty much get to touch or inspect or replace, so yeah, quite a wide range of things. Would you recommend this course to others? Yeah, definitely. I really enjoyed it. It's very... Um, very different in certain things. The engineering behind it's quite in depth and quite interesting I've found. Um, and you also get exposed to a lot of different areas and the same day, or yeah, the same day never really happens and you're always doing something different. So what are your working hours like? Uh, working hours are really good. We do a, a shift pattern, um, which is one week day shift and one week afternoons. So it's quite good to get a bit of a variety and stuff like that, which I quite like. Which other people do you work with within this role? We work with a lot of other people, uh, different trades area um, as specified before. So we work all together as a team to make sure that the aircraft's fixed and the work's carried out safely and also correctly to the maintenance required and the procedures. What's a common misconception people have about your job? Um, I'd say a common misconception is probably the amount of work we do. Uh, I think it they think not much happens to them, they just keep flying normally and there's not much maintenance required but there is quite a lot to keep an aircraft up in the air and flying and we do a lot of that here and around the place and it's yeah quite a lot of work goes into them. Did your course help you find your job as a mechanical engineer? 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, I thought, yeah, it really gave me a good insight on what I wanted to do and uh, also helped in the job finding process and future careers that I was going to undertake. So over here, we're getting the engine ready for removal and we'll replace it with a new one, ready to go out for its next flight. Now just come with me and we'll go up and have a look in the cabin. So here we're doing a C4 check, which is a fairly heavy check on these, which goes for about two months. Uh, we pull the whole cabin apart in here to do inspections behind them of all these structures, make sure everything's all right, there's no cracks or damage. Um, after we've all cleared that, we rebuild it again, ready to go flying, and you guys to have a flight. Cool, you look like you're super busy here, so we'll leave you to it. Yeah, no worries, thanks, see you later guys. Thanks for having us.